back to my channel. This is Chrissy. Today I'm going to do a review and comparison between uh, the two popular cleansing balms in K Beauty. They are Vanilla Clean Net Zero and Hamish All Clean Balm. Cleansing balm is the very first step in my facial cleansing routine. They are essential in effectively melting down um, waterproof makeup layer, sunscreen, and anything that you put on your face, you know, during the day or throughout the day, um, without stripping the moisture off your skin. So if you are interested, please keep on watching. Vanilla Cool actually have five different versions of Clean It Zero Balm, including original, revitalizing, uh, purifying, nourishing, and pore clarifying. Um, the particular one I have here today is the one comes in a pink top, which is um, the original version. Um, they actually have two uh, different size for the original version. What I have here is a big size, 100, uh, 180 ml, uh, which is retail for about 44 Canadian dollars. A smaller size of this um, for 100 ml is retail for, I think, 26 Canadian dollars. Uh, Hamish, on the other hand, the Hamish All Clean Bomb, um, this is how the packaging looks like. It comes in only one size of 120 ml and retails for I think 27 Canadian dollars. So um, the prices may also fluctuate or change depending on where you buy the products as well. Um, if you do the math, um, I believe that you actually get more bangs for your bucks with the Hamish All Clean Balm. In terms of packaging, both cleansing balms come in a tub with a spatula for you to scoop the product out each use. Hamish, however, has a lift up lid um, instead of a screw top. This has made it very convenient um, and easy to use as compared to Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero. Uh, Vanilla Co. actually comes in a screw top like this. Uh, and it also has a very thin plastic um, divider to hold the um, spat spatula. So this is very flimsy to use, if you can see. Instead of um, the Hamish one, um, you can just easy, easily lift it up and take the spatula um, out and scoop the product. So it's like this. It comes with a spatula and it comes, at least the packaging is like more sturdy, if you can tell. If you have um, both the products in, you know, side by side, um, you will see that um, definitely there is a difference in their packaging. Um, the Hamish cleansing balm looks very elegant, very classy in the bathroom. So in terms of packaging, I prefer the Hamish cleansing balm over the Vanilla Clean It Zero Balm. Neither of the cleansing balms contain mineral oils. I think Vanilla Co. used to have mineral oils in their cleansing balm, uh, but they have recently reformulated and removed it from their ingredient list. The name mineral oils is surrounded by um, a lot of confusion. So mineral oil is actually liquid byproduct of refining crude oil in making um, gasoline and petroleum products. So if you Google the name mineral oils, you will see that there's tons of different opinions about this ingredient in skincare. Some said that it's actually safe to use, others said that maybe it's a big no-no um, for having such ingredient in skincare product. So just keep in mind that the mineral oils used in skincare or cosmetic industry are usually highly refined, whereas those used in automotive oils and fluids, they um, are often unrefined. Um, anyway, the good news is that none of these products, none of the cleansing balms contains mineral oils. Both cleansing balms are synthetic ester based, uh, which gives them the waxy emollient consistency. Um, another similar major ingredient in both of the products is a derivative of palm oil or palm tree oil. Um, one difference that I noticed between the two is the presence of shea butter on the ingredient list of the Hamish All Clean Balm. So if you know that your skin or your pores could easily get clogged by shea butter, then you may want to be um, extra cautious with the Hamish All Clean Balm. 
In terms of fragrance, both cleansing balms come with uh, some sort of a scent. Hamish All Clean Balm actually has a light scent um, which lightly comes from plant extract and essential oils which I noticed on their ingredient list. Um, the Vanilla All uh, Clean It Zero Balm on the other hand comes with a fragrance from uh, synthetic or artificial fragrance. Um, neither of the, the scent is too bad. I just um, personally prefer the scent of the Hamish All, um, All Clean Balm. Um, since we mentioned essential oils, I also want to add that um, essential oil is one of the very common ingredients um, causing pores being clogged. So um, if you have sensitive skin, you may want to consider that. I have used uh, both cleansing balms for a while. Hamish All Clean Balm is a repurchase for me and the Vanilla Co is actually a first buy for me. Um, in terms of texture, the texture of these two balms are very, very similar, uh, soft and smooth when in a solid form and melt into oil texture um, when you apply onto your skin. I will show you quickly here. So this one is the Hamish and this one is the Vanilla, Vanilla Clean It Zero Balm. I don't know if you can tell, but it feels like oil texture when applied onto, uh, on the skin. When you add water, uh, it emulsifies into, um, emulsify into milky water that rinses off very easily. I would say that the Hamish one, this Hamish cleansing balm, um, it feels slightly smoother on the skin as compared to the Vanilla Go um, Clean It Zero Balm. When it comes to cleansing power, I would say that uh, both cleansing balms do a very decent, very good job. Um, I normally don't wear a lot of makeup, so these balms are more than enough to take off my daily makeup. Uh, on those days that I wear, you know, waterproof uh, mascara, eyeliners, and um, a bit heavier makeup, um, I notice that these two cleansing balms uh, do not completely remove my makeup. They probably cleanse about 90 percent 85 to 90 percent of my makeup uh, therefore a second step of using a cleansing oil is always a must for me when i have heavy makeup on what i'm gonna do today is that i'm just gonna show you a quick demo of how the cleansing balm works um, i have here this is Hamish all clean balm this is the vanilla gold clean it zero balm i'm gonna use this one on my left side and i'm gonna use the Hamish cleansing balm on the right side uh, we will then follow up with the um, cleansing oil because i don't have my cleansing oil with me so then i'm just gonna use a um etude house here i just got it i haven't tried it so we'll see how much of the makeup left over after we using after we washing face using um, the cleansing balm let's start it the two cleansing balms have oil texture when applied onto skin. Once they are emulsified, they are very much the same. In person, redness on the right side of my face is actually better than those um, on the left side. Now I'm going to put some makeup remover onto two cotton pads and use them to gently wipe off any makeup residues left. As you can see guys, the cotton pad on your right side, which is the side that I used Vanilla Co Cleansing Balm, contains a bit more makeup residues as compared to the cotton pad um, from the other side. Overall, I do think that their cleansing powers is very comparable. Hamish All Clean Balm leaves the skin extremely soft and moist as compared to the Vanilla Clean It Zero Balm in my experiences. If you watch my video until now, you can probably tell which one I prefer. I very much enjoy the practicality, functionality, packaging, and the scent of Hamish All Clean Balm. Um, honestly, I still think that they are very comparable, so you may need to try them to see which one your skin prefers. Um, if if you have dry skin, you will definitely enjoy the feeling of soft and moist skin after washing with 
the Hamish Alkin Balm. Um, that's it for my review, guys. I hope that you enjoy my video and um, I will see you guys in the next video. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.